making a panorama photograph with um, Windows Live Photo Gallery is very easy. First off, we start the program, and I put all my individual photographs in the same <coughs> excuse me in the same folder. Um, you notice well I'll get the thing going before uh, before anything happens first of all I'll select all of them by pressing control A and then in the create tab I create a panorama and now it's stitching them together now, as I was going to say a minute ago you'll notice in the photographs that working from left to right there's always a portion of the photograph that's the same in this case it's the tree and in this case is the edge of the bush in this case that bit there goes with this bit here so all the time there's always something that lets the software know um, where the photographs have to be stitched together now uh, there'll be a, a slight delay while this um, finishes stitching but basically I've done nothing except um, select which uh, individual photographs I want I go to create and hit panorama now we'll just see what happens I've got 17 photographs here uh, and this is going to be a 360 degree panorama uh, most panorama shots you take wouldn't be as big as this one um, three or four or five is usually a, a good average I guess looks like we're nearly finished okay now it's asking me to save it and I'll call it um, sample which of course that's what it is and I'll say save and now it's saving that panorama to disk at this stage it allows me to do any cropping I want to do um, let's see if I can show you quickly there it is and I'll just trim the edges off it so we'll go right to the end there right to the end here and we'll just trim the very top off and the same at the bottom The only reason I'm trimming the bottom off and the top is because when you have so many photographs like I do here, it tends to leave a, a slightly wavy line. Now I press enter and it's done. Now even so I've still got um, a slight wavy line at the bottom so let's have another go at that. Um, I'll just pull it in slightly and press enter again. Yeah, that's gone. That's a lot better. Now, it should have saved automatically, but we'll see. Close. Yeah, it's saying it's saving. And I could go back to the original, so my changes were automatically saved. I like to view them using a freeware program called W Panorama. And I'll just open it up. files, load image ok there it is there, I'll double click and we load it now it looks better to me uh, if I have it in full screen so I'll just um, display in full screen and you'll really get an idea of what uh, panorama photography is all about now, as I say, this is a 360-degree view. I had to be very careful with the people fishing there that um, I got them in one picture because uh, if I got them in two and they'd moved, you'd have seen uh, seen the same person in more than once. past halfway now. You can see the edges top and bottom are fairly well straight 
Uh, on the bottom there I can see a tiny little lump every now and again. Um, I would, and at the top you can too, just slightly. I'd normally go back and um, just recrop just to make sure. Now I'll press, uh, that's nearly all the way around. I'll press escape. I remember W Panorama is actually a um, a freeware utility. Okay, and it's as easy as that.